Hi there. Uh, today I thought I would show you how to customize uh, Linux Mint 19 XFCE. Um, I have made previous videos that will be similar to this. However, I will try to show you some other changes that I make here that I hadn't shown you in the previous videos. So I'll do my best to uh, show you those now. Um, the first one is the icons that are used in Linux Mint. Um, I've never found them that attractive, so I installed the uh, flat icon pack. Uh, and actually, Sparky uses the same icon, uh, same icons. So um, I think they kind of pop at you with the colors that are displayed and. I think it's easier to differentiate the different applications uh, by the icons themselves. So that's a, a reason why I, I installed them here. Excuse me. <clears throat> so um, there's an official way to install the icons. I'm going to show you a shortcut way or a simpler way for a single user. So uh, to do that, you would go, um, you would download files. Uh, the icons uh, from a website that I will show in the show notes and once they're downloaded they're most likely in your downloads folder and it would have a it would say ultra flat icon pack and I believe it should be a tar.gz compression compressed file uh, similar to a zip um, and if you're in a Linux distribution you should be able to just right click on it or any any uh, uh, OS for that matter but um, right click on it left click to extract here and we'll just proceed uh, so I can show you so you would extract them then you'd have a folder from the uh, compressed file this is the folder and inside the folder you're going to have all these other uh, variant variable uh, icons besides the, just the the straight ultra flat so I was only interested in the one folder not green new mix orange or any of the others so uh, what I do then from here is that I would right click on this folder left click cut or you could copy um, if you do either one once you've cut and copied and placed it somewhere you can go ahead and delete the this uh, folder or I should say the main folder because it wouldn't matter after that um, or keep it as an archive however you want to use it so once you co cut or copy it um, you're going to put it in your home folder and once you're in your home folder you need to change the view to hidden files so once you click hidden files you'll notice you'll see these dots in front of various icons that's indicating that they are hidden um, and not normally seen and you will probably not have a dot icons folder so if you don't you'll need to create one and if you need to create one you would right click on to a blank space here left click uh, right click left click um, create folder and then you're going to name it dot icons plural that's all a, a lowercase dot icons once you've named the folder you have it here as as I'm showing you and then you would either right click paste the the files that you copied from the previous uh, area that I showed you or you could just open it up and copy them inside or paste them however you uh, you know whether it's a copy or uh, the the uh, original folder itself so once it's in here you're almost done um, you'd come back out I would uh, revert your your uh, view back to what it was so you want to uh, hide those files again so click on there to hide them so that you don't see them again and then you're done there and then you may need to reboot um, I'm not quite sure on that uh, whether you should reboot or not but you probably do um, and then go into your start menu go into your all settings go into appearance uh, the second tab is icons 
and you're going to scroll down to what, whatever icon that you've chosen. In this instance, it's an ultra flat icon pack. Click there, click close. They should be changed immediately. Um, you might reboot again. I'm not sure if that'll make any difference, but you're trying to make it official that they exist. And um, so sometimes I just reboot to be sure that everything is uh, done properly. Um, this is related but unrelated. This little warning has to do with icon cache. I don't know much about this and I would suggest reading about it. Um, it doesn't seem to affect my installation of the icons in the way that I've installed them. So, but I am just pointing it out. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and Google this, try to experiment. It's always worth trying to learn more, uh, you know, for your, so you know how to use Linux. So, um, once that's done, you're done with the icons. So I've got some notes here to remind me uh, to try to stay on track. So you'll have to excuse me here. I'm going to bring them up and see what else I wanted to show you here. Um, oh, and also uh, there are, say you want to change a, one of the icons from this icon pack. There are two ways to go about it. I'll first show you a, a, a simple one. Say the menu icon here, I actually changed it from the original. Uh, and I believe the original might have been the little Linux Mint icon. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but what you would do is just hover over the particular icon, right click on it, left click properties, click on the icon itself, which there'll be a slight delay. Uh, you'll come into the area where you can select various icons. At the moment it says action icons, which if you want to render all of them or see all of them, click all icons, maximize the screen, and scroll or type to find what particular icon you might need or want. So if it's a menu icon, you might use the word menu. Uh, if you don't like what's showing here, then back out and it'll bring you back to all the variety of icons that are available and look for something that is fitting for what you seek. So um, I chose the, the uh, this particular one for this for the menu because I thought it looked kind of nifty. So um, anyway, once you've oh I should show you. So once I'm going to click back on there. So say you click on whatever icon, then you would just click OK, um, and it should change immediately. If not, just reboot. But I believe it will change immediately, uh, and then you're done. Now that's one way of changing uh, a uh, icon. Now if say you want to change them universally so that they're all the same. Uh, I guess an example would be like uh, in the start menu, these are really m more the root system icons. So if you say you didn't want Opera to, to have the, the O, uh, even after you made, say you want to make shortcuts from Opera in, in, in a panel or on the desktop, what you, if you want to make them all look different, you would right click on this in the, in the start menu here, you would right click then you'd go to edit application. Then you would click on icon. And then there'll be a little delay probably. And then seek out whatever icon you want. Like say you wanted to offer a beta a different color. You can go with that, click on that, click OK. And uh, that any other any opera that you use will have that color. So you could go back here, delete the ones here, then create it. I guess what I'll show you here is just, I guess I, I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to go through the process, but you would, once you've made that change, then right click on it, add to panel or drag it, and it will show, render that change from that, the one that you've made the change on. And it would, it would follow it through everything you do. It would, it would look the same on the desktop as it would in the panel from the one that you changed inside your start menu. So hopefully that makes sense. But um, this one will change the system. Any any shortcut you make from here will render that particular change that you had made. Um, so that's that. What else? Uh, the window manager theme. Uh, you'll notice this little blue highlight around the uh, pa uh, the panel here. 
the window manager uh, and it's the theme and the I, I, reason I like this theme is that I, I just like it illuminated around the edges I think it looks better and I like the minimize uh, maximize buttons they're larger than the default um, and I'll show you that here right now um, so go into start menu go into system settings go into um, uh, you're going for window manager and as I mentioned here's the this is I don't know how you pronounce it Dallo D-A-L-O-A -A. Um, that's the one I've chosen that gives this particular look um, they have the default which would be the Ubuntu I believe however this is the dark theme uh, which still looks pretty nice also you might prefer that um, and then the the mint uh, version would be uh, actually let's see I think it's meant Y as the default so you might even like that the only reason I don't is I don't like how small these uh, little buttons are I just don't think they're the right size they should be larger and even in the dark obviously they're just tiny so I prefer the this I think it looks nicer and it's always it's a matter of preference so um, if you say you want to change the font to the title, you can do that here. Uh, well, let me close out of here, go back into here. Let's see what else, font size. Um, and then I'll show you, say you, you want single click, which you probably know how to do, but if you don't, I'll show you that. Um, you would right click on the desktop, go to desktop settings. Uh, once you're in here, you um, let me move this over. You want to go to the third tab, and here you'll see single click to activate items. You can check it, uncheck it. It's a, it's a matter of preference. Um, here, of course, you have your icon size to the desktop icons here, and also the font size for these icons on the desktop. You can change them here, as you as you can see. And then the default icons down below, if you want your home folder on the desktop, the file system, the trash can, you can place those on the desktop. I don't, I don't like them on the desktop. The only item I check is remova removal, removable devices like a USB stick or the things that are plugged in. So um, once you're done there, uh, let's see what else I've got. I'm going to look at my notes so I can remember what I wanted to say. Uh, oh, the single click for opening up folders. That's under your file manager, so you can bring up your file manager. Um, and let's move it over here. And so you just go into Edit, Preferences, Third tab, Behavior, and you want to here's your single click uh, to activate items for your folders so those are the two areas to uh, implement single click for everything I believe um, so I, I like single clicking I don't see the point of, of double clicking it's just slower to get where you want to go so um, and what else oh well the other thing I wanted to show you was you'll notice is when I slide the uh, window manager here that there's a transparency and if you have compositor on which I'll show you here uh, go to start menu go to all settings scroll down uh, actually it's in the first area uh, you have window manager tweaks click on that and if you click the last tab compositor you might maximize it so you can see what's going on here you, I believe, uh, the default shades the uh, or shadows under your regular windows at, under your dock. I unchecked those. I didn't want it shadowing certain things. Um, just whatever. It's a matter of preference. But since I'm using a dark theme, <coughs> excuse me. Since I'm uh, using a dark theme, there's no reason to uh, shadow these. So that's why I unchecked them. Um, then over here under opacity of windows window decorations um, I leave the top bar and the bottom bar alone 
um, and then I moved the, the the three center ones or the three in the center between the between the other ones I moved them in um, oh I don't know a third a quarter whatever I just play with that click close and then that gives you that ability to I'll just open up a few items uh, that um, We'll open up that. So you got catfish, or the for searching. If I put this on top, you can see that it's a solid over a transparent. If I want to take that over it, you can go like that, and then it dominates it. But when you go to move it, you can see bet uh, behind it, and it's I it's attractive and it's actually functional. There is a reason for it. So um, you know, it's just to those. These are a few little. Uh, tweaks or changes you can make uh, and in XFCE uh, it's more customizable to your needs if you play with it so um, I guess that's it I just wanted to show you let's see was there anything else I had in the notes um, did that oh, manager uh, no I think that's it um, this is just uh, a quick uh, uh, way of showing you a few things that I think might be helpful to anyone new to Linux or uh, Linux XFCE or Linux Mint XFCE. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and keep using Linux.